In the 2023 DP World Tour Championship, which to be honest was three days ago, Matt Wallace shot a 60 around this golf course. Now, if you've got any, if you know about my background, I was a golf coach here at the academy at Jumeirah Golf Estates for five years. I played this golf course countless times. Let me tell you, a 60 is not on. Now, what he actually also did was birdie every single hole in the back nine. Yeah, he came back in 27. Nine birdies in the back nine, which is an absolute madness, to be honest with you. I just played really nice coming down the stretch. Just wanted to keep getting one, you know, one more if I could, and I managed to do that. Pure madness. So what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna try and do that. I'm gonna pretend that I've just had six consecutive birdies, and I'm gonna see if I can finish with three at least. Actually, if I finish with one, I'll be happy. 16th hole, by the way, this is probably the toughest finish in the Middle East, this golf course. It's brutal, so stay tuned for the 18th, which is an amazing, but brutally heartbreaking hole. 17, Island Green from 200 yards, incredible par three. 16, 486 yards. Today, into wind, that's not helpful. Watching a lot of the players play here, there's a, there's a bunker in the middle of the fairway that everyone was finishing just short of. Rory, 30 yards past it. The man's a, the man's a freak. Right, wish me luck. Matt Wallace, I'm six birdies in. I've got three to go. Can I do it? Can I help? Well, I'm gonna give it the best possible go. Left rough, it should be okay. The problem I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a long way in. Probably about 170 in, let's have a look. Tiniest part of the green cut behind a bunker, so I'm not gonna be going near that flag. 183 yards to the flag, from the thick stuff into wind. I'm gonna hit a six iron. Such a difficult approach if you're not in the fairway. I'm gonna wait, so wind's a little bit off the left, the slope's a little bit below me. So the ball's below my feet, I should say, sloping away from me. So I'm actually gonna aim at the flag almost and just let the wind and the slope just push it back in towards the middle of the green. It's not a great start though, if I can't birdie this one. This is such a, this is such a hard birdie hole. I've hit it like an absolute bullet and it's not moved. I might've got a bit lucky, I might've missed the bunker left and it might camber around, it might even catch the very, very, very left edge of the green. If it does that, I've actually got a chance of birdie, but let's see. I'm quite happy with the way it came out. It just came out super flat, a little bit of a flyer. Just before I play this third shot, I actually want to give a quick shout out to Stuart Horwood, who is the head greenkeeper here at Jamaica Golf Estates. I've known Stuart for a while, and this, this year, mate, this golf course is the best I've ever seen it. It is un real now then i've got a little unlucky here because i've come down the side and it, i did say it cambers but i was probably coming in a little bit too hot so i've just ran into this first cut of first cut of semi i'm going to play a little i might play a little chip shot run it down the hill i need to I need to hold i need to hold out really don't i Well, there's an old hole there, which is where it was when Matt shot his 60, but got that for par. I'm, I'm happy, you know what, I'm happy with the par on this hole. Just a little tap in. Yeah, you know what, 486 yard par four into wind. I'm happy with the four. Matt, well done, three's good to go. Right, next hole. Oh, excites me the next one, watch this. 17th hole, 195 yards. The flag, I can't even begin to explain how much that flag is basically in the water. 184 yards to the, to the flag, so I've got a seven, eight, and six iron. My God, it's actually slightly downwind. I could probably get a, a seven iron there, but honestly, the landing area, if you look at, remember the last hole? It's almost the same, it's ridiculous. But what a beautiful hole. Look at this, we've got, so the hole in one for the week of the DP World Tour Championship, the car's been stolen. It was a I-7, it was a beauty. Up there on the left-hand side is, for that one week of the year, 
is the best bar in Dubai. The place is bouncing. The atmosphere is amazing. Right, what would make the atmosphere even better if I got a hole in one? So I need to level myself back up with Matt. Not a full one this, just got to feel a good one in there. Oh, pulled it into the middle of the green. It definitely, to be honest with you, it's definitely a seven iron because had I hit that actually on target, I'd have been wet over the back of the green. And I've got quite a long putt. Should have hit seven, really. Poor club selection. Middle of the green. It's not quite where I wanted it to be, but from where I've come from, had I hit the target, I would have honest, I would have been in the water or a touch left the bunker. So actually, this is not the worst miss. It was a bad club selection. Poor, poor club selection. Come on, pace. Go, 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 go. Oh, such a good line, that as well. It's just starting to come back. Right, four foot left for par. It's the biggest four foot I've ever seen. It looked like four foot. It's actually three, it's closer to six. For par, and to be two behind Wallace. How do you birdie every hole on the back nine? Jesus. Right, it was just starting to move back from right to left. I think it's going to continue to do that on this putt here as well. Down the hill still though, so it's quite fast. Fist pumping a par, that's my level, Mr. Wallace. All right, last hole. I don't know what to say about it. Is it a good hole? Is it a bad hole? It's a bloody hard hole, that's what it is. I'm going to let you into a little secret. Come over here with me. 18th hole, 620 yards. It's actually not. The very, very back tee is 620 yards. This is actually the most forward tee on the tee box. So this would be for the high handicappers or, I'm not gonna get into it, but it's the most forward tee. It's actually only 500 yards from here. So, cheeky of sticking that there, really. They always put it as far forward on the last day because it obviously gives you that risk reward. Hit the fairway, you can go for the green in two. Obviously from 620, there's, there's no chance. Right, let's see if we can hit the green two. We need an eagle to finish. Rapendra, we got... Uh, I was about to ask you that question. Where do I go, left or right? It's gotta be right, no? Over the, over the, um, over the green keeper on the right. I can, I, can, I can get past him. Where would you go, left or right? I go left. You go left, I yeah? I don't have that uh, confidence to go right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only going right because all the players went right. So it makes me feel like a player. Oh, Pepe. Oh, beauty. <laughs> yes. That's the best drive I've ever hit on this hole. And it's dry. Get it. Right, eagle, we're doing it, eagle. Right, that, is the, that was an A1 drive. If you watched any of the coverage of the DP World Tour Championship, this is where they all were. Look at all the divots. This is where we all were. So we've got 200 yards to the flag, downwind. I'm gonna get, a, I'm gonna get my shot scope rangefinder out just to double check that because it's gonna be playing a lot shorter as well. So definitely don't wanna get the yardage wrong. Front edge of the green's 180. 195 flag, downwind. So six iron distance, massively downwind. I'm gonna pop a seven iron up there. Stay, stay, stay. Oh, it's drifting. Ah! Bunker, perfect club. Ah! Right, let's see if we can get up there. Let's try and make one birdie, come on. Matt made nine. Let's see if I can make one birdie. This is the hole to do it. After that tee shot, this is a really bad miss, actually. Then again, that's not a great miss either. There's water all the way up the middle of this fairway. The, the sand is so bright, I can't even see it. Right. I have to go like ultra aggressive, get loads of height, loads of stop. It's a good shot. That is a good shot. Oh, oh my God. 
Right, surely we're finishing on a birdie. That, oh, for me, that's quite a scary bunker. When I commit to playing it with that type of technique, I do get worried that it's not, it, it, could, go, it could go disastrously wrong, but I played it perfectly. Right, let's finish with a, foot, a birdie four. We're in. So I've managed to finish one under for the three holes. Matt, nine birdies in a row. Obviously you've only seen me play three, but if it gives you any indication of how impressive and how incredibly freakish that is, hopefully this video has helped. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Huge thank you to Jumeirah Golf Estates, the Earth Course, Stuart and your team. Wow, incredible. Thank you so much for having me. If you hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you next time.